Hi everybody, it's Donna here again with North Star Tarot. We are doing your Monday Fresh Start Timeless Reading. So let's get right into it. Let's not waste any time. I hope everybody had a good weekend. And let's see what's in store for you guys this week. So we have the Four of Cups. So, you know, the Four of Cups is a card that kind of deals with maybe some boredom or some wishful thinking. So maybe you're spending too much time daydreaming and not enough time actually getting things done. So you really need to consider this, okay? You know, make up your mind and start implementing something. It's great to dream. It's great to have ideas, but you need to implement too, okay? So let's not forget about that part when we're starting our week, all right? So we are going to move on with the Heaven and Earth Tarot. This deck here is from the Witch's Tarot. So here we go here. So we have the Three of Wands. Then we have the Queen of Wands. We have the Chariot. And we have the Devil, okay? So this is very, very interesting. Uh, definitely a very interesting read for sure. Okay, so let's have a look here. I'm just going to spread it out a little bit more so that we have room to um, to clarify with, with other cards, right? So yeah, so let's do it like that. Okay, so coming into this week, Monday, like, you know, um, I feel like you are looking for a new beginning. You're looking for something new, some new venture, some thing that you can sink your teeth into. You've done some work. You've kind of decided what you want to do. And now is a good time to start going after it, especially at work. Okay. So I really feel like work is going to open up and offer you these opportunities. This is fantastic for you to do that. All right. And I feel like work is going to be very open. There may even be some travel at work okay so look forward to that that's not a bad thing at all that's actually a very good thing let me just put on a little bit more light i know these cards um they reflect from the camera i mean from the light but not much i can do about it so yeah but anyway the um uh, work is going to be very good. You're off to a good start this week. And so don't be afraid to take chances and kind of do some things that you were hoping you could do. Okay. And then as you go through, you know, maybe on Tuesday or whatever, I feel like you are in a good place for yourself. You're feeling very confident about yourself. You have a lot of confidence right now. You're feeling very passionate. If you're with somebody, you want to be close to them. And I feel that you want to express how you feel with them, you know, and I feel that's very, very important to you right now. I also feel that you are able and willing to do some creative adventures, maybe plan something that you want to do at home or in your love life, you know. Um, anyway, I think it will involve people that you love. And I think it's going to be something that you kind of plan to, you know, um, have fun with, okay? And I, I just see that there is so much for you. Like things can happen really, really quick if you let them. You are the leader. So I feel like you can lead your way starting this week. And beginning this week, I feel like you have control, okay? You can kind of take things where you want to take them. Now, don't allow temptation to get in the way. You know, don't allow other people and their thoughts or, you know, um, things that you can't control to get in your way, right? I feel like you will be tempted by somebody or something. And it might even throw you off course a little bit. Try not to allow that, okay? So let's clarify a little bit on some of this. So we have the King of Cups and we have the Three of Cups. 
So again, you know, as far as work goes and stuff like that, you're doing very, very well. You're very happy. I feel like it's time to celebrate. Enjoy your coworkers, okay? Maybe there's a certain event coming up at work that you're going to help plan to help kind of recognize you or your co-workers for something special accomplished and i feel this could be very very good it's kind of like figuring out how to be a really good team player and how to do some building of the team right and even if you're not working outside the home but you work at home you know you you run a household right well what can you do to encourage everybody to kind of feel good about home kind of feel good about where they live maybe there needs to be a bit of a celebration there or an acknowledgement for somebody there that has been you know, doing something over and above what you expect them to do. You know, whatever it is, right? If you volunteer somewhere, how can you help out? How can you celebrate volunteers or their positions? So keep the, the, the thoughts open, okay? It doesn't have to be a paid work job, okay? So as far as, you know, this uh, feeling that you're kind of very confident on top of the world, um kind of doing things that you want to do in your relationship. I feel that some people that you're dealing with are not where you are, okay? They're kind of feeling stuck and they're kind of feeling like withdrawn a bit. So whoever you're dealing with, whether it's a partner or a family member or a coworker or a friend, whoever it is, I feel they're very, very stuck. Now would be a really good time to do something Invite them to do something creative, to get out of their head. They're really, really stuck in their head. Maybe you're, you know, a friend of yours is going through some heartbreak or whatever. I feel like it would be a really good time to invite them to go maybe to do some painting or do you know, maybe some wine testing, whatever it is, right? Just look, look at different things that you can do and maybe plan something for these people or this person because I really feel like they're bogged down and they feel very, very much like they have to protect, you know, they have to watch, they have to protect, you know, they have to, they can't move forward, right? So just, just use caution around some people right now and encourage them to move forward. So here I feel like things are going really good. Like I said, you have control, you have the lead, right? There is something you're changing, There's you may be moving. Um, so if you're thinking about moving, this would be very, very good. If you're thinking about a uh, moving career, that would even be good too. So keep that, that door open as well. I think there's an opportunity coming for you to make more money. To feel like you're grounded, okay? And it could be that you're even making some changes at home to make your home feel better. Maybe you're doing some gardening. Maybe you're going to plan for your garden this summer. Maybe you're going to, I don't know what you're doing, but you're definitely thinking about making some changes to make everything feel better around your home, okay? And you still have all this control and you still can make things happen kind of as quick as you want, you know? And you have that control, right? And then with this temptation, you know, with the devil, we have the five of wands and we have the tower. So that is kind of, you have to really, really be caution it there. Be very, very, use caution for sure. Because I feel like if you allow your greed or your ego to get out of control, you're going to end up fighting with people, arguing with people or yourself, really, real high battles here. And I feel like things are just going to crumble down on you. Okay. So it won't do you any good. So keep your ego in check and just make sure that you are doing what you need to do without letting um, yeah, don't let your ego kind of get in the way or don't let anybody else's ego get in the way, okay? Because that could be somebody else too. So just keep an eye on that, all right? It's very, very important, all right? So yeah, so um, we are going to close the reading. I have these cards here. These, um, 
These are called psych cards. Well, psi cards. They're called psi cards. Here is the, this is, this is the book here. So it's your psyche, set your psyche free. So they're psi cards. So I'm just going to use a couple of these, see if, what else we get for um, Monday, this fresh start for Monday, right? See what else we get here. So we have distraction. So again, if you let your ego or if you let your greed or any of that, if you let that lead you, you are going to get yourself in big trouble. So make sure you're being humble and make sure you're being grateful, okay? Then we have beauty. So not allowing that and keeping that at bay. You can see the beauty in things. You can appreciate the beauty in things and you have rebirth. So birth here is about new things growing, okay? So keeping this at bay will allow you to have things beautiful around you, to live beautifully and... Um, to have rebirth in your life instead of everything being destructive and going away. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to do a magical message from the fairies, okay? This will round out your reading. And we have travel. An upcoming trip proves to be life-changing in positive ways. Now, I did tell you, you may travel with your new with your job. There may be an opportunity to do some travel there. So let's see what this says. This card shows you you'll soon be traveling to an important destination where you'll learn and grow through new experiences and discoveries. Perhaps you'll visit a spiritual power place such as Manchu Puchi, or Stonehenge, or you may go to a location where you'll meet a significant person or even find your new place of residence. Be open to your heart's inner stirrings about travel and ask the fairies to help you with the finances and details. Most of all, enjoy yourself on your journeys. So yeah, so I really think that, like I said, there could be work opportunities to travel. There could be any of those things, right? So if you do get a chance, make sure you take it, okay? I think it could be wonderful. So here is your crystal ball reading to close out the reading, okay? So let's see what the crystal ball has to tell us, okay? If there's any extras in here. Show me any messages. that everybody needs to hear. Okay, so basically it's a very, very prosperous time for you, okay? So prosperous for sure. I see an F as being very, very important. There's an initial F. It could be a name, it could be a street name, it could be a city somebody lives in, right? But it starts with the letter F, okay? Um, I do see that there is a time for, this looks like it is like um, you're going to be talking to somebody and this is about, hmm, this is about something you want to do in, in this summer. So I feel like this is a, a, a future kind of thing where this is something you want to do this summer. You want to go somewhere. You're exploring. Um, you may even be doing some hiking, um, something like that. And it feels like it's a lot of fun. So if you've got something planned, that's great. If you don't, think about what you may want to do to kind of um, and kind of grow your horizons, right? Grow what you what you usually do. Okay, so this is a summer thing, but I think it needs to start thinking about that now, right? Um, what else do I see here? Hmm. Okay, so 
Um, I feel like somebody, um, I don't know, they have a sore hip or something, okay? So a sore hip, maybe it's you, maybe it's, you know, you're working really hard, so either you sit too much or you're lifting too much or something like that, but it can relate to so many people. And it's like you need to take care of that, all right? So don't, don't, um... Don't hesitate to go to the doctors. I'm not a doctor, so don't hesitate to go and get some help there, or, you know, or have a nice hot bath or something like that, right? To kind of ease out that stress and that, you know, that tension in your muscle, okay? Um, what else do I see here? Hmm. Well, I feel like it's a good it's a good time for you to flourish. So, you know, I feel like there is lots on the horizon for you. So there's time for you to, uh, many of you will be um, thinking about growing something. So <laughs> this, I know it sounds weird, but it feels like you are, you're growing something, you're taking something that was and you're changing it around, okay? So whether it's your personality or whether it's your character, you know, I feel like maybe you're adjusting your character. Maybe you're you're looking at some old limiting beliefs and you're getting rid of them, right? And you're planting new seeds. So that's kind of what I see here, okay? So that is your reading. I hope you enjoy it. And thank you very much. Blessings, my dear.